Hey folks, my name is Jürgen, aka Nerd and Proud of It, and this the NES brought you to my channel today to talk about Wizards of the Coast again. I think it is time to have a chat about Wizards of the Coast, and I think it is time to tell Wizards of the Coast to tell us the truth. Because, yeah, I guess the house is on fire. Um... <laughs> Wizards of the Coast is going great after the 30th anniversary uh, disaster end of last year. We now had the OGL disaster for Dungeons and Dragons beginning of this year. And there have been many videos about that and a lot of people said a lot of cool stuff. But was, uh, what was very interesting to me personally is that we actually finally have a financial pushback that is visible because the Dungeons and Dragons community com, uh, completed the cancellation of their subscriptions. Uh, 30 bucks a month is quite uh, quite a sum if you have tens of thousands of people who actually cancel the subscription to the online Dungeons and Dragons service. But also we had leaks from inside of Wizards of the Coast People were telling us things are not great and those are the people not at the top because they say everything is fantastic. Those are the people at the bottom. Those are the people who actually make the products. Those are the people who engage with the community. Those are the people who probably love the product, not like Cynthia Williams who has to quote Wikipedia about what Magic the Gathering is. So at this moment, I think it still is very, very important that we all keep pushing back on things we don't like like the dungeons and dragons community successfully did and i think like the magic the gathering community did as well because one of those internal communication leaks was that the big companies in that case wizards of the coast and probably hasbro papa hasbro have made a plan that we postpone the changes we now want to do but at a certain point, they just want to reintroduce them because they think everything is going to blow over. And I think that's a very dangerous thing. And I think we already see that with Magic the Gathering. Things are blowing over. Everybody's buying Dominaria Remastered because it's a good set. But in the end, I think it's really, really important to keep pushing bad. I'm not saying don't buy any Wizards of the Coast products. I mean, if you want to enjoy the game, enjoy the game. But be very careful because they are continuing down that route if you are... Are not pushing back against what you don't like and we pushed back against the 30th anniversary edition i think successfully dungeons and dragons community very successfully pushed back because they cancelled their subscription to the online service which was perfect because tens of thousands of people cancelling a 30 buck subscription uh subscription <laughs> uh my tongue is skipping uh things sometimes uh, that 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 was a big giggity right now sorry um people are cancelling their subscriptions hurts wizards of the coast of course and i think the dungeons and dragons community was a lot more active um, and we could hear and see them a lot more than I think the Magic the Gathering community was. And I think we still did well, but I underestimated how big Dungeons and Dragons is and how involved the fans are. And I'm playing Dungeons and Dragons myself. I mean, I got, uh, I got many, many, many Dungeons and Dragons books here. <laughs> I think I got about 30 and that's the old books. Um, but in general, I maybe maybe it's nice to show that one as well. Remember that one? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe it's nice to keep being aware that it is very, very important that we don't let Wizards of the Coast get away with just trying to screw us over. Say it bluntly, say it as it is. Um... I think we shouldn't forget that fast. We should be very aware that they are trying to shove down our throats whatever they want to do and that they won't give up that easily because it's very simple. They have the need to actually raise their revenue I have to think a bit sometimes. That's okay. That's cool. I mean, uh, 
<laughs> we we all have to think about what we gotta say, right? And um, sometimes it's important to get the message across with uh, like a dramatic pause. That helps a lot. No, what I suggest is that Wizards of the Coast cuts the crap, just tells us honestly things are not going well and even if they come out with the january or with the q4 numbers of uh, 2022 in january and they say everything went fantastic because we reached a billion might be but i'm very curious about those q4 month uh, q4 numbers months october to december isolate it and see if we actually made an impact as Magic the Gathering fans, the same as the Dungeons and Dragons fans made an impact right now. <sighs> Folks, it's crazy to me how a company can be so blind to what the community actually wants and can be so blind to how they are ruining the faith we all had in them. We all love Wizards of the Coast, we loved, we don't love them anymore, definitely. We all loved Wizards of the Coast for years. And we loved the brands, we loved Magic the Gathering, we loved Dungeons and Dragons. Um, everything that has been going on with what they did uh, online, offline, they did very, very well and they earned a lot of money. And we made them a lot of money because we bought their stuff. Why is it so important to go beyond that point and actually squeeze out the customer for his last dime just to make that little extra revenue instead of just knowing hey we're doing well and there is a healthy growth and I, a growth and i honestly believe that growth would be still going on if they wouldn't have done what they did but that's not fast enough it has to has to be more every day and more every year and double the revenue in five years that's crazy, especially in times like this. I, I, I don't get it. So Wizards of the Coast fucking cut the crap. Admit that it's not going well. I mean, we see it. And the Dungeons and Dragons community made it much more clear than the 30th anniversary disaster because they are actively canceling subscriptions. And that's a positive thing. We all can say we don't buy Magic the Gathering products anymore. And I believe a lot of us don't. And that's a good thing as well. If you are not happy with the way the company is uh, handled at the moment. But um, cancelling subscriptions, seeing screenshots of that. That of course is hard proof. And that's very nice. I love it. I think... Uh, um, the whole Wizards of the Coast community, maybe Magic the Gathering, but uh, Dungeons and Dragons did a good job in showing a big company that the community has impact. And I'm not saying we should be in jar charge. Uh, I think um, it's important a company does their own thing. But on the other hand, if you make a product that is so based on the community and community involvement, community support, then it's very simple. You should at least take into account what the community thinks and you don't have to please the complete community. But if you piss off the complete community, <laughs> it's probably not a good idea neither. Oh my God, it's, uh, it's crazy to me. It was really good to see that internally Wizards of the Coast employees have sent out messages to the Dungeons and Dragons community about what's going on internally and uh, how they are reacting internally to the pushback. Because it's very clear, they still think like, oh, it's gonna blow over, but it's not. And we have to be careful that it's not going to blow, blow over because it's, it's back to the start if it does. Uh, then, then we just have to fight all over again for the things we, don't want to happen to the games we love. So, yeah. I think I'm gonna leave it to this, folks. Yeah, we're <laughs> at our nine minute rant, which is quite okay, I think. Uh, yeah, around 10 minutes is normally a good length of the video. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this one. There is a lot of cool stuff coming, uh, a lot of interesting stuff about the 30th anniversary coming, but uh, more about that in the upcoming videos. I wish you a very nice day. I hope you stay healthy, stay frosty, and I talk to you next time. Thanks for listening. Bye, folks.